Out of all vlogs that I've ever made, this one must be the most special one as today I will be introducing you to my hometown, Zagreb. I can taste you, 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 you. I can taste you, you, you. Oh, I can taste you, 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 you. I can taste you, you, you. Oh, I can taste you, 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 you. I can taste you, you, you. You will meet this city from a perspective of a person who was born and grew up in it. I will show you the old town, important landmarks some fun facts about Croatia, we will do interviews with some of my Croatian friends, you will learn everything you possibly want to know about Zagreb. with the famous Croatian writer, Mr. Matos. This is the Strossmeier Promenade. It's a very nice place to walk, to see the upper town with some of the oldest uh, town walls, which are now under construction. <laughs> but yeah, it's a very nice place to have a nice view, right? This is the famous uh, Marcos Square. When I was a child, I was making a puzzle. <laughs> it's very difficult when you have small puzzles to create these tiles. So these tiles on the church represent um, Dalmatia and Slavonia, two parts, two regions of Croatia. And other parts important for this area is that here is Banski Dvori, also known as Croatian uh, government, the parliament and old city hall. Kamenita Vrata, the stone gate. So this is the only gate that's preserved, the old entrance to the old Zagreb town. It was built in the 13th century and people, local people, have a tendency to come here to pray on every Tuesday or any day, any night, just to light a candle. So it's kind of an important place. was the name of the next scarf worn by Croatian soldiers. So another thing that comes from Croatia. You're welcome guys. So this is Zagreb's main square, also known as Josip van Jelacic Square. It's a place of all main happenings. So when we came second in the World Cup in football, this is where the big celebration was. There were so many people, you cannot even imagine, it's like half a million people right here and in all these streets. It was a very big day for all of us. But other than that, it's really beautiful and especially the angels. street in Zagreb, Ilica. I would also say the main street as it goes through the city's main square and the core of city center. It divides the city into upper town and lower town. 
you can do some shopping here. There are a lot of cool bars and restaurants, museums and much more. located in the upper town, right above the main square, is the main farmer's market in Zagreb. If there's one thing people in Zagreb love to do, that's drinking coffee. We can sit in a coffee place for hours. Like now, we've been here for what, two hours? And we're gonna get another coffee now. Fun fact, Croatia is one of the few countries in Europe that do not have a Starbucks. You will not see not even one Starbucks here. I think it's just their concept of take coffee and go, it's not possible here. This is Tkalcha, Zagreb's runway. You can see all the chairs are facing that they're watching the people that are walking by. It's like everyone is looking what you're wearing. It's a famous street in Zagreb. A Croatian dish you have to try is strukli. It's the most traditional dish. It's a dough baked with cheese, or of course you can try with other things. You can try it baked or boiled, it's really good. What makes Zagreb Zagreb is not just beautiful buildings and museums, it's the people that live here. I figured it's not fair that you hear everything only from my perspective, so I asked a few of my Croatian friends what do they think Croatians are like. Croatians are good people with strong character, we love good food and fine wine. Once you'll try it, you'll know it. If you want to have a decent laugh and memories for lifetime, Croatians are your people. Zagreb. It is found on the coat of arms, on city trams, buses, and often on Croatian jerseys. The people of Zagreb have always been passionate about sports, especially football. Dinamo, the football club with the most trophies in Croatia, also has blue as the team color. As a result of this, they have developed their own group of supporters who came to be known as Bad Blue Boys. Even though they have a rather long history of misbehaving, they are certainly one of Europe's most passionate supporter groups. Speaking of sports, I can't avoid mentioning the fact that there are almost no sports in which Croatian athletes did not excel. From football, handball, water polo and tennis, through martial arts, all the way to skiing and athletics. Croatia is definitely starting to be recognized as one of the best sports nations in the world. For a country with only 4 million inhabitants, I think that's pretty impressive. And believe it, we celebrate every one of those winning moments and we celebrate like no one else does.
walk somewhere far to come here, but no, the main square is actually right there on the side, like 200 meters away. Vlinjevac is a place of picnic, gatherings and many, many events. You would be surprised how many cool events are going on here all the time. Well, during summer mostly. Every day at exactly 12 o'clock you will hear a loud blast of cannon fire. As an honor to an old tradition, the Grich cannon has been marking Zagreb's noons for over 137 years. Let's not forget that Zagreb is a city of science and culture. The city has approximately 50 museums and galleries and about 20 theaters and musical venues. Zagreb at night. It's 1 a.m. and it's Tuesday. I mean, it's, it's kind of empty, but again, it's, it's 1 a.m. and it's Tuesday. <laughs> friends at the main square. It's mostly where people meet here. Just so that you don't think that all there is is the city center and upper town, Zagreb is so much more than that. If you only have one day then it's fine, but if you have a week in Zagreb definitely make sure to visit the other parts as well. So Zagreb is divided into Zagreb and New Zagreb, Novi Zagreb. The New Zagreb is mostly residential areas, but also other cool features. What divides it from this part is the river Sava, 